this is John from caveofprogramming.com and this is a tutorial on a basic kind of hello world JSP Java servlet page in Java. So in the last tutorial we created this basic hello world Java servlet and the servlet outputs HTML directly um, and if I run that, um, let's just run it, it outputs this HTML and actually if you do view source in your browser um, or here you can see the HTML that it's outputting and that's just coming from here. Now you'll probably think when you do this surely it can't be normal to um, spit out HTML directly from Java and indeed it isn't. Uh, what you normally do is you put your HTML in a um, JSP um, file, a Java servlet page and we're going to look at that in this tutorial um, and the, the structure of these tutorials is going to be that I'm going to try to show you the most important things first um, so we're going to look at servlets a lot more later on but um, here I'm going to show you a really crucial piece of the stuff that you'll need to know how to create a basic JSP page now I've got this project, project set up from the last tutorial and you'll notice there's this web content directory and the web content directory is where you normally put your web content. So as an example, I'm going to right click on this web content folder and make sure you do um, click the right, the correct folder. And I'm going to go to new and I'm just going to create a new HTML file here. And let's call that um, hello world.html. Uh, so I'll click next and you can select what uh, what particular kind of HTML you want here and there's a sort of preview here Let's just click finish here and look at that, so it's here and um, if you're not too familiar with HTML um, as I say this, is going, this course is going to be a bit like being dropped into the deep end but it's made up of tags and these are closing tags like this with a slash and this is an opening tag and you see you've got HTML tags and there's a head area here containing a title. So let's give it, let's give this a title. Uh, hello world. And here's the body tag where um, your content normally goes. So I'm just going to type in here hello world from an HTML page. Um, and now if I just click run there and save it, then we can go to that page um, in this built-in browser in Eclipse, and we just see this text. Now a JSP is a HTML page but you can embed Java in it. So I'm going to right click the web content folder and I'm going to go to new JSP and let's just call this hello world.jsp and click next and you can select the exact kind of um, HTML style you want again. So it's just like creating an HTML page. And you can see it looks basically just like the HTML page as well, except that you've got this special thing up here. Now, um, this page will actually be compiled into a servlet by um, your application server um, engine. Uh, so Tomcat, in this case, is going to compile this page into a servlet before uh, running it. And you can type normal HTML here, so I could say hello world JSP, hello world Java servlet page and I could run that already and it's going to do exactly what you expect and you can put all the kind of normal HTML markup which I won't go into uh, much in this uh, page but what you can also do is you can embed Java in this page so um, if you want to output stuff on the page um, your Java is going to go between tags that look like this. They start with a uh, a angle bracket like that. Then they have a percent sign, and you can see that Eclipse has already put in this closing percent angle bracket. And I'm just going to move that down a bit so I've got a bit more space. And if you want to output some um, stuff from your Java directly, you can type an equals sign here. And now I can type something in Java which will be output on my page. So this really should uh, evaluate, I guess, to a string. So let's just say here, um, hello world JSP from Java. 
So that's just uh, string syntax in Java. And you'll notice I'm not putting the semicolon in here. Um, and if I run it, then we're going to see this, Hello World JSP from Java. Now there's tremendous power um, hidden away here. Um, if, uh, like one kind of classic example that you often see is if I do a uh, new date, so if I do new, and I'm going to have to type the full package name here, so java.util.date, just a normal Java class, uh, no semicolon, then um, this is going to evaluate, it's like doing sys out on a Java util date object in a normal program basically. So if I run this, then um, we're going to see the, the date here. And if you want to embed um, Java in here, but you don't want to evaluate it or output it directly, you can just use the angle bracket um, percent without the equal sign. So I could even um, define uh, a class in here. I'm going to see a bit more about how this works um, in future tutorials, but for now I'm going to keep it pretty simple. Let's have some kind of Java here. So I'm going to say um, string, um, let's say string uh, text, and let's set that equal to um, new, let's set that equal to, in fact here I'll say date today uh, equals new java.util.date like that and let's set the text equal to today dot to string um, and let's let's concatenate some text as well I'll be naughty here and use the plus sign which is not very efficient I should use string builder but I'll use this uh, so today's date is and um, yeah, and let's put the let's put the plus in there to concatenate these strings. And oh yeah, this is going to also have to be java.util.date. And we'll look at how to import packages in a future tutorial. And now here I can just put the string that I want to output, and this equals sign is going to output it. Um, so if I save that and um, run it like this. We've got today's date is uh, so it's output, outputting the string there, um, and there's a, there's another way you can. I'm not really sure why it's giving me kind of error stuff here, but let's not worry about it. Um, and there's there's another equivalent way that you can do that, which is uh, if you just um, let's let's change this. Let's just have this equal to uh, um, let's say here. I'll change it back to what it was before. So I'll say new java.util.date because I want to keep this um, example source code so you can look at it um, yourself if you want to and I'm just going to have the string output here um, so now at the moment yeah I've got to get rid of that semicolon it's a bad habit putting it in here um, so now at the moment um, it's not going to display text but it's just going to display the date um, as, as we saw a little bit earlier but I want to show you an equivalent way of outputting stuff because if I go here into the actual Java bit, the um, scriptlet section and do control space, you can see there are a load of predefined variables that you can make use of in your page. And uh, in particular, we've got um, an out variable that is um, one of these print writer or JSP writer in this case, things that we saw in the last tutorial in the servlet. So I can say here out dot print um, ln, and I can output in there my text. So now this is going to output the text, which is today's date is. Uh, we don't need that anymore, and um, then we're going to output the date down here separately. So if I run that now, um, today's date is such and such. So you can see that these different Java sections. Um, are kind of aware of each other and they compile into like a contiguous block of code. So that's it for this tutorial. Join me again next time when we'll be looking at more interesting um, servlet and um, JSP related stuff. And until next time, happy coding.